What is up everyone and welcome back. We're in season two of our F1 Manager 23 career mode playthrough. And this time we're heading to, where are we heading to? We're off to Spain. I'm very organized, as you can tell, better than Zach Brown. Get him gone. We're currently P5 in the Constructors, 64 points, and not far behind Mercedes as well to boot. Driver standings, P7 for Lando Norris. Oscar Piastri just nudged outside of the top 10, thanks to Yuki Tsunoda. But uh, we've got some upgrades on the way. I'm looking forward to whacking on those bad boys on the car. These will be our final upgrades of the season. The underfloor and the rear wing. 8 and 18 days respectively. Neither of which actually going in the car for this Grand Prix. But uh, once those goes, go on, that will be it. We are focusing on next year's car. You can see that's already begun with the research on the chassis. Regulation changes are coming. Losses in high speed, medium and low speed downforce. Uh, rear wing again. Downforce. What about underfloor? It's all targeting downforce. Bloody hell. Stay away from my downforce, FIA. Anyway, Spanish Grand Prix. I'm excited for this. Hopefully you are as well. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying this series. We will win with McLaren no matter what. The order of business remains the same. We want to upgrade next year's car. Do we have any hours? Minor technical changes. It is all downforce, as we saw earlier. No hours remaining. That's a yikes. So, until we get hours, is it maybe worth doing something else? That gets affected. Maybe we could put... Maybe we could put no hours into that. I mean, every little bit helps, right? How much does this cost? 1.3 mil. We put two engineers on this. This is for no hours. It will help at the end of the day. I'm willing to... Uh, I'm willing to take a chance. Let's do it. 1.3 mil. Oh, Let's change the training focus, actually. They are 100% exhausted. I think there's been some changes to the pit crew and how they work, how to get the most out of them. And in the end, can't really do anything because they're already going to be rested. So all of our sessions are resting. And they're going to be 100% exhausted for the Spanish Grand Prix. We survived Monaco without any disasters. But, bro, how, are they get, how do they get so exhausted? They're, they're snoozing every day until Spain. Rest, you lazy buggers. It is the day of the Spanish Grand Prix. So we are at Friday, ready to head to the track. Let's do our performance targets. Reach Q2, both cars, we can do that. Qualifying position, ooh, two cars, top 13. I think we can promise that for a little bit. Oosh. It's always hard to promise two drivers because like they can always make a mistake at any time. One driver in ninth. As we always say, it is time to go to the race. Okay. We're competitive now, and we're doing all right. So let's put some oomph into this. To the race weekend. <laughs> BSC. Oh, Lando is retired straight out of the pit lane. Bruh, now, he, who is that? he just left now, the pit lane. Like Lando Norris. Right, let's have a look as we go into turn four. Oh, and the car with a nasty crash into the barrier. That will have knocked. How is he out? Sure. I wasn't even that heavy. Bruh! All right, let's see what the damage is. There's tension in the air. Today. It's time for qualifying, but is Lando going to have a chassis? Of course not. Wait. 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 I think he crashed the old chassis. Oh my god, that's huge. He did crash the old chassis, not the new one. Bruh, that's so lucky. Because we don't have any upgrades on this weekend, I reckon Lando can just keep his 
30% ERS on. That's that's your punishment for this weekend, mate. That is your punishment. We gotta make these parts stretch. Let's do this thing. Let's see if we've got any pace. Inter's championship. It's Inter's championship for McLaren. I just want to build up that driver confidence. See, every every personal best he does, the more laps he does, the more the driver confidence goes up. That's why we want to do that, I suppose. Wait, did Norris do an actual lap? Norris did an actual lap. Very good. Horace did an actual lap on slicks. My bad. Horace needs to go again. I don't think he'll uh, make it to Q2 otherwise. Come on, Oscar. Good stuff. I hope that's enough to see us into the next session. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure this is a done deal, guys. This is me we're talking about here. Piastri's done. Piastri is done. It is now a case of what Lando could do now. It's out of our hands. Oh, Russell, you idiot. Are we improving? We do. Okay, we're into Q2, but it depends on what Bottas... Schumacher and Joe do. We're safe. Oh, only just four hundredths of a second away from getting knocked out by Bottas. That was a little too close for comfort. It's Q2 then. And I do have a strategy. We want the new ERS for when we get the upgrades on in the next race. We're unlikely to get points here. So we're kind of just taking taking the L right now. Please don't blow up. Green light. That wasn't me, was it? That wasn't that wasn't me, right? Right? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What have we done? Well, we're mudded. I don't think we probably would have made it into Q3, let's be honest. Our pace wasn't great. And to be honest, I'm not even sure I want to waste these tyres getting in. I might probably rather just say what we have because it's going to be a high tire wear. High, high tire wear race. We may end up using those softs on an adventurous strategy. But let's see what he does on this another used set. This is a slightly better, better set than before. Doesn't improve. That is demoralizing. Into the box we go. 94% setup confidence. I'm going to go one higher. See if that helps setup satisfaction. But chat, I think we're done. I'm going to go out again on these tyres. Why not? Why not? I think that's... Curtains. Is that curtains? Get into push. 16 seconds. We may have just pulled a blinder here. Especially if he improves. He did improve sector 1, but not enough. Both cars are out. I reckon we go softs. Go aggro off the start. Use Inters, and then maybe finish on mediums. I think hards is probably the, the way to go, given how aggressive the tire wear was in practice. With how slow it takes to dry out. Two Inters runs. Two Inters stints looks more likely. Let's update strategy B, and we'll do the same with Oscar. Uh, okay, let's, let's have a contingency for if it stays... Dry enough for dries. Soft, medium, soft is quickest. Wow. Would you believe it? I think for Oscar, we definitely do double inters in the middle, but maybe Lando could stretch first. 
single inters. Just flip the strategies for both drivers, and that might be the play. Um, but yeah, guys, it's gonna be an interesting strati... Strati? It's gonna be an interesting strategy race, that's for sure. I'm gonna switch that ERS right now. And what else are we gonna do? Revert the setup. Happy days. We've made the call. This could be a race with big opportunities. So let's take the risk for points. It's a rain affected race. Anything's possible. Here we go. This is the Spanish Grand Prix. May fortune be on our side. Lights out and away we go. May fortune be on our sides. We need those points. It's going to start raining around lap 10. Overtaken by Bottas already. But Piastri gets him back. Lovely stuff. Like Norris is making a move. On the Williams. P13. Lovely stuff. Is it still OP to do the... Avoid high risk curves with aggressive tire pushing. Bye, Bottas. Back down to standard it is then. Yes. P12. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Alright, let's focus on Piastri to get him ahead. Maybe a bit of drive in clear air will fix ya. Just close up. Can I get the move done? Go for it. Copy. Look at the tire wear. Very good. Yeah, I like that. Just, just keep it up. Helps when you stay on the track there. Yeah, it does. It does also. Head down, down. It does help when you stay on the black stuff. Push, push. Bruh. Thank you. One spot off some points. Absolutely ginormous. When's that rain coming? Couple laps, we will be ready. Points? It is points. Thank you very much. Unorthodox spot on the track to overtake, but we got it done. Okay, so even with Oscar's mudded tires and Terrible confidence. He's caught the back of the train again. One small mistake is so costly in FR Manager. The time loss of stopping on the track. The, the tire loss. Confidence loss. It's absolutely brutal. Thank you very much. Yellow flag. There's a safety car with boxing oh, enters. We've had a crash. Oh my words. No! No, 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 no! Oh, they're okay. Wow. What the is this? <laughs> Spicy! Yes. Yes. Oh, that makes life so much easier. So much easier. See you later, mate. Norris has even got Russell. Oh, my words. Get him back on the straight. It's fine. Get him back on the straight. No. Damn it. We are French toast. Okay, I agree. 
Albon's in. Enters. Yeah. So, Albon will be a bit muddled for tyres. I'm not going to react this lap. Verstappen is in. I'm going to box Oscar. Oscar really needs the new Inters. Let's do it. So, box, box. Happy to box. We're going to box for a new set of Inters. Oscar Some busy old pit lane. So, slippy old pit exit. Everyone yeah. goes new Inters. Unlucky. Looks like an issue for both horses. Come on, good stop, please. I'll take that. I'm thinking about going one more lap. I am thinking about it. I am going to carry on for one more lap. Both tyres are kind of as fast as each other right now. I'm pushing for one lap fresher tyres. Science has stayed out, so it's not a terrible decision. But burning our battery to try and overcut some people who might be internally squabbling on pit exit. Okay, box for new inters. This lap. This is this is a good box lap. Officially, DRS doesn't get switched off till one millimeter. It's not officially wet till one millimeter. So I actually think this is the perfect time to box. Here we come. Now all we need is a good stop. Let's go. We were right with Gasly before the pit stop. We do get overtaken. Or was it Sonoda? Was it Sonoda behind us? Either way, we come out not in terrible position. Hello? Now this was at turn one. The wheels just oh. lock up there. By that point. Wow. Oh, Perez is behind us. That's huge. That's absolutely so huge. This is what happened. Now the focus is on Lando Norris here. They decide to give it a go. What a move. And Lando says, well, thank you very much. That was very brave. Lando's one of the best overtakers in the field. Castry overtakes. Despite being on conserve, let's go. They're pushing. Yeah, confirm. Surely we get DRS. We do. Try to keep the car cool. Confirm. Lovely stuff. We're in the points. Oh my god, there's still a long way to go in this team. We might have everyone beat on tire wear. Piastri's found another overtake. You can catch him. Can we get him? It's risky. Magnussen doesn't leave space usually. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Wait. Gasly's pitting. Let's and Ocon's made a mistake. Now this is what happened as they took turn eight. Whoa. Oh, and they need to be watching those track limits. Dries. Oh. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Just as it was starting to get interesting with the uh, the tyres. Just as it was starting to get spicy. Piastri should come in.
Yeah, it's, let's just stop overthinking. Let's also box Norris. Box, box. Copy, box. Double stacking. It's the right thing to do. All that hard work, all the hard work from the interstint, unfucking done by that. Absolutely huge. All clear on exit. And for the driver whose pit stop doesn't matter, he gets the clean one. Oh, Ocon. Ocon. Big mistake. Let's take a look at the replay. Big mistake from Ocon. Now we're watching Esteban Ocon here. All good at this point. Oh, and the car locks up. Now they did leave it very late. Unlucky. Push hard to get in Hamilton's DRS. Actually, we've done more than getting his DRS. Oh, my word. You're in the P9. You can see what happened. <laughs> Look at the McLaren driver here. There's the opening. Lovely stuff. Okay. I think we get the RS. We do. That is huge. All over him now. We're just making sure we've got the firepower at the ends. Gastry back up to the top 15. Huge. Stappen starts his last lap. Piastri, I reckon we go... Oh, yeah, you are not good. No management here required. Copy. Use the overtake. Yep. Charge button on. I didn't tell him to overtake yet. I didn't tell him to overtake yet. I wanted to get DRS, mate. I want DRS for the next straight. Okay, now we push. Now we get him. Lovely. Alright. Let's run away now. It's our time. absolutely yeet away. We've got 80% battery and I intend on using it. I intend on using it. It's been an alright race. Over the we have done our best to winner. manage everything. We're really going to finish on fumes here. But it will be P8 after what was a muttered start to the weekend. Lando crashed in practice. Good recovery. P8 makes the most of some tyre saving. Got absolutely everything out of the car this weekend. It's a shame we couldn't give him the pit stops that he needed. But that's more good points. More good points. Gastry. Had the lock up. And yeah, not much else to say. We don't have a car ready for him yet. <sighs> we take those, chat. What a remarkable we take those. Norris today. An outstanding performance today to have made the, the game makes it look like we won the race. <laughs> the team, Bruh, why is he celebrating that much over a P8? <laughs> Bruh, why are we celebrating this?
Fair play to Stroll, though. P2. 1.8 seconds away from winning the race. What are Aston Martin doing? <laughs> At that factory. Well, we can forget about trying to chase our last stroll on the uh, driver's standings. Good day for Lando, P7. Should be able to hang on to that, I hope. Unless Mercedes start finding some upgrades. Constructors. We gain on our rivals. But lose touch with Mercedes. Yeah, it's going to be tough to challenge them this season. Especially with uh, the, the, the upgrade plan we have for the rest of the season. And literally, again... Cooking everyone on pit stops. We love to see it. Look at the standings. Over double the points of the next best team. So I think we can chill with pushing our pit crew to the limit. You guys see that? There you go. 3.7 mil for this weekend. Every little bit helps. But there we go, guys. That has been the Spanish Grand Prix. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content. We have, I think, yeah, our first upgrade. Our first decent upgrade. Heading our way uh, for the next race in Canada. Let's double check the... Oh, wow. So we've got an underfloor in one day. And the rear wing is in 11 days. So potentially two upgrades to Canada to look forward to. And that's our final upgrades of the whole season. So, on paper, Canada, or the next round after that, should be our best round of the whole season that we're going to get, pace-wise. So, uh, yeah, let's hopefully bring the goods there and get some early momentum in this season. That's it for today. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.